While you can create and record music and vocals in BandLab, you can also import MIDI files and audio files that you have already saved on your phone. For MIDI files, check out the link at the end of this video for my tutorial on how to import MIDI. And now, here is how to import audio files into BandLab. On the track mixer screen, below the bottom track, Tap on the plus icon. Then tap on import track at the bottom of the screen. You can import WAV, MP3 and M4A audio files, but interestingly, you can also import the audio from MOV and MP4 videos. Browse the files on your phone and tap on the file you want to import. When you import an audio file, BandLab creates a vocal track in your project and then adds that audio file to the vocal track. So if the imported audio is vocals, you can use the auto-tune and the BandLab preset vocal effects, just the same as a vocal track that you recorded in BandLab. Double tap the track name. Tap on auto pitch and add auto pitch by pressing on the knob icon and dragging your finger up the screen. Drag the dot on the line below the knob icon to the left or right to set the key scale of the auto pitch. There's nothing to wonder There's nothing to say. If you want to add effects, tap on effects at the bottom of the screen. Tap on create below the none effects icon to create a new effects preset. Tap on a BandLab vocal effects preset. There's nothing to wonder. There's nothing to say. Or tap on one of the custom presets you have previously saved. There's nothing to wonder. There's nothing to say. If the imported audio is guitar or bass guitar and you want to add the BandLab preset guitar or bass guitar effects, you can add a guitar track or a bass guitar track to your project and move the audio to that track. Tap on the plus icon below the bottom track and tap on guitar or bass. At the top right of the screen, tap on the X icon. Tap on the imported recording on the track mixer screen to highlight it. Then drag it down to the guitar or bass guitar track. Double tap on the guitar or bass guitar track name. Then tap on effects near the bottom of the screen and select one of the BandLab guitar effects presets. You can also add a BandLab drum or virtual instrument FX preset by saving it as a custom preset. Tap on the plus icon below the bottom track and tap on virtual instruments. 
then select the same type of instrument. Tap on Effects at the bottom of the screen and select the BandLab Effects preset you want to use. Tap on Customize below the preset icon. Tap on the three dots at the top right of the screen, then tap Save As on the pop-up menu. Type in a name for your preset on the pop-up window. Then tap on Save. At the top left of the screen, tap on the back arrow. At the top right of the screen, tap on the X icon. Double tap on the Import Track name. Tap on Effects at the bottom of the screen. Then scroll for your saved presets and select the preset you just saved. You can also tap on the imported audio and edit it the same way you would any other audio track. And you can move the imported audio to another track that already has audio on it. And so, as promised earlier in this video, here is the link to my tutorial on how to import MIDI files. There's nothing to wonder There's nothing to say I watched for a minute or two As you walked away